Tile five, you guys. This has been quite a run here, and it should be the day that I get the new box delivered to me. Thanks for joining me, and welcome to Okay, got some kits. I'll throw some new ones in here. Mainly because I don't have any more columns. A floor tile set, and yes, this is the one where we cut the tiles. That's why the plexi's involved. But anyways, um, yeah, no columns left. Um, and as a matter of fact, this is the last of my zone mortalis tiles. I don't know how the heck that happened, um, but hey, you know, it does. Um, I really hope some come back in stock for from Games Workshop to go with this new stuff. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I bought plenty here. But yeah, anyways, not having columns and building a tile uh, is a little more difficult than you would think. Um, without the angles, it's... You know, you got to come up with something else. That's why I pulled out the uh, the furnace here. And, uh, of course, the eclectic crate, which I have plenty of. But that's a good look. Um, yeah, so, anyways, here we go. We're going to get ready to cut the heck out of this GW plastic. <laughs> last, uh, last video, I was cutting... Uh, 3d printed stuff and this one we're cutting you know cutting and shaping oh, yeah. zone mortalis tiles my goodness what an idiot i've turned into but so anyways um this one i wanted to be a little bit more of a blast so uh that's why the plexiglass is on the bottom uh, i know a lot of guys use foam and things like that I'm not ready to raise the tiles up yet with these first seven that I'm going to do. And yes, I'm going to do two. I bought enough of the new terrain um, that I should be able to do two other tiles. Um, and then we'll have seven. And then, um, you know, we'll see where we go from there. Um, I'm stupidly excited if you haven't figured it out yet. Uh, <laughs> I... I I built the uh, the original uh, I've Primus tiles pretty quick too, but not quite this fast. So uh, another little update. Um, I am, uh, as always, trying to expand my knowledge. I'm making videos for you guys to you know enjoy, and I believe, according to all of my research, I might have actually gotten 4K on this video. Um, one of the things I'm running into, though, uh, which I could use your help, uh, any comments down in the bottom, please, um, is it too dark? Um, it's hard for me to tell when I'm making it, mainly because, you know, once again, I still really don't know what the heck I'm doing. So, um, yeah, this is a constant uh, just give or take on my end. Uh, I, I think the one thing I have going for me that I've heard from other people is that sooner or later, I just like, God damn it. Okay, we got to send it, you know, um, which can work against you. Uh, <laughs> some of the uh, thumbs down that I've been getting have been interesting. But uh, yeah, so I, you know, I haven't gotten any real negative comments about it, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, the best videos for you guys. Um, you know, what to put in them. You know, do you not like watching me sprinkle baking soda on top of super glue? You know, any of that stuff. Um, I'm open to all interpretations. You know, I, I, if it's something I've never done before, that might be cool too. Um, there's several that uh, bring up ideas in the comments area i'm i have 
the, in fact, I'm pretty sure this blast hole one was a comment <laughs> uh, from one of the last four other videos. My goodness, I still can't believe that I'm punching these things out as fast as I am. But it's really exciting. Um, I, Secundus is going to be a great, just a great little add-on. Um, you know, the original box set is going to be a one-on-one -on -one bug hunt. But I've already got plans on expanding that. Jay and I have been talking about it. Um, and then when the Book of Desolation comes out, oh man, we're just going to go just through the roof. So anyways, um, I thought the tile was still a little empty, so um, I actually had some stairs here, which was pretty exciting. Uh, so we're going to have some stairs. And I kind of messed up. I should have battle damaged him a little bit more. But, you know, I realized it uh, right after this step, of course. And then <laughs> I was like, well, I guess we're going to have to use Gook to make it make it work. Um, so, yeah, this is getting quite a bit of rust effects. Uh, now. Um, I did it a little bit differently, mainly because of the stairs. Uh, usually I mix the sand with the PVA glue. Um, on this particular one, I wanted a little bit more blast damage. So, uh, needless to say, pulled out the Mod Podge instead of the regular uh, white glue, uh, mainly because of the consistency. Not anything other than... Um, yeah, it's a little easier to use with this. So, yes, with this one, we can put it on straight and then do the sprinkle. And now we're sprinkling sand. There's a lot of sprinkling and seasoning going on in this tile, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, different again. Um, it's going to take the powders differently. It's also going to take the oils a little bit differently in the later step. So, yeah, here we go. A couple of, couple of finalized shots here with the... Uh, still camera very much loving the way these videos are coming out um but you know always need a little bit of tweaking need a little critiquing yep there we go we got some gene stealer claw marks i figured you know uh the male strains are living in in uh, secunda so you know i figured i'd give it a little bit more of a homey feel so i put some put some scratches and battle damage on stuff went with a prime here um because of the sand on top uh the priming on the green step didn't really take uh as well as i'd like everywhere else it took just fine but generally on the sand so i thought you know what um i'm gonna try to help my shadowing out a little bit here so maybe the shadowing's a little less so um i came up with a gray and added that same dianthus purple or diox dioxanon, I can't pronounce the damn word. Um, and I went over the sandy areas and basically anywhere under, um, you know, for a, just a quick shadowing right away. Um, and then, of course, you know, I spilled it everywhere. Yay, good job. No, it wasn't because I was going too fast. <laughs> um, but anyways, when uh, I came to this step, Boy, that undershading worked really well. I think I'm going to incorporate that even, uh, you know, another another stage in the painting process here, just to make things a little bit easier. I don't have to use so much green on everything because sometimes, in especially in the darker areas where I want it to be dark, it takes a little bit more uh, of the shading and the oil paints, you know, work to get that to get that right. Um, one of the reasons that I can, you know, kind of do all of this quickly is because a lot of these stages that I have and steps, they have been proven. I've been working on them. Uh, so, yeah, with this one, again, ton of metallics going on. So pull the old airbrush out on this one. Um, really like that uh, Liquitex silver ink. That is generally one of the things that saves me on this um i can give it a metal flavor but it doesn't cover quite like metal um then i can just go over and uh the go over it again in the areas that um you know i want a little bit more of the metallic flavor to it this one i was very much 
going to be doing some quite a bit of creative powder work um, and hopefully coming out on the end of uh, at the end there where I didn't have to do quite as much shading. Um, you can see the definition piling up right away um, in the metallic areas that um, I'm doing. Uh, just, you know, as always with everything, you know, I try to learn, you know, as I'm going. So pull the contrast paints out, it took really well. Um, and then, you know, I figured which, which primary color am I going to use, you know? And, uh, of course, blue came to mind right away, but I didn't want to add a blue in yet. It takes away from the green tile look um, because there's an awful lot of blue in that green. Um, so kind of didn't want to do that. So uh, Blood Angels Red here, uh, contrast paint, turned out really well. It's just a bit more orange to it than the Flesh Terrors that I used on the Ferritonic Furnace. Um, and, you know, the nice part about uh, doing that sprinkle text texture um, is that you actually don't have to use as much oil paint to get a very good dramatic effect. Um, and uh, because it's more textured, the uh, the powders uh, stick to it a little bit better. But yeah, this is this is even less oil paint than I normally use. Everything going down right now is thin um, already at the source. Usually I like to put um, a little bit of straight dollop every once in a while just to thin and push it around. But yep, then we go to the powder work here. Um, not a whole lot on this as far as footage is concerned. You guys have seen plenty of me doing this before. Yeah, and here we are. We're going to end it with shading here. Um, really loved how this one turned out. Hopefully, the next tile video that I do is going to have the new terrain on it. But thanks again for joining me, you guys, and have a great night.